you are, uh, you're in this thing, you're polling higher than uh, some governors, some uh, congressmen, uh, senators, and a lot of people, I think it's safe to say, did not know who you were a very short time ago. Yes, that's fair to say. And you were running on this idea of a universal basic income, which is giving every American $1,000 a month. And are you worried that because you're polling higher, that as other candidates uh, get desperate, they'll start offering $1,100 a month? Well, that would be a version of victory, Seth. I've said for a while that I'm either going to win or the other candidates are going to sound a lot like me. <laughs> well, that's a very good way of looking at it. Um, I do want to talk, because I'm fascinated uh, by uh, this idea of a freedom dividend. Before we do that, it does seem like you're having fun out there, and I think that's really important. Uh, I believe this is all just in the last uh, week or two. <laughs> Here's a montage we've made of you enjoying yourself on the campaign trail. <laughs> I would not have had you on the show if I 
if I was on the outside looking in on the Yang clan. Uh, but explain, there's, it's very interesting, the philosophy behind the idea of why it's good that everybody would get it. Why? Because some people would say, why did the wealthy get this $1,000 a month as well? Can you just explain that? Well, if you look at the Alaskan experience, everyone's getting the oil dividend from the poorest Alaskan to the richest. And because of that, it's universally popular. There's no stigma attached to it. It's not like I'm paying for it, you're getting it. You don't need to monitor people's circumstances. There are no incentives to say I'm doing worse than I really am. And so because of that, in a deep red conservative state with a Republican governor, the petroleum dividend is wildly popular. And so if we make this a true rate of citizenship, it will be popular nationwide. You, uh, you have an idea that I'm, I'm very behind the idea of how bad a viewing experience the State of the Union is. This is something you agree with. I, I completely agree. It's gotten bizarrely unwatchable. Yeah. Uh, it's very performative. Uh, it doesn't feel like you get a lot of information out of it. Uh, what is your idea for how to fix the State of the Union? So my plan is to take the American scorecard with the real numbers of how we're doing and then present them to you, the American people, in a PowerPoint deck every year at the State of the Union. I'll be the first president to use PowerPoint. Hopefully that's a good thing. I can't. I can't imagine PowerPoint polling quite as well as $1,000 a month, but I like it. I like your Rocky. Um, hey, thanks so much for being here. Uh, it's Thank really you, uh, interesting having someone out there talking about things somebody else is. Oh, I want him so bad to be in the top two. I am so scared for him. That's how much I want him to be in the top uh, I I wasn't keep I wasn't gonna say anything. Just go with the flow. But I want him to be president so bad. That, and they're already starting to attack him too. And it's like I am so fucking scared for him. And I I want him to be okay. He he doesn't seem phased at all. But but wow, I. They laughed at him, and it's like, you serious? Us little people aren't laughing, and um, I I want him so bad to be on the top, and <laughs> it's scary. It's very very scary. I I I can't lie anymore. I can't lie about it. But uh, I'm I'm gonna keep an eye on. Him. But uh. I, I hope to God no one hurts him, too. Emotionally, physically, financially. Know what I mean? He's a really smart guy. I didn't know about him till last Thursday. At the, when he said uh, the freedom dividend. And it started trending. It's like, where has this guy been? I did not know about him 15 months ago. And it was like... And I'm not political. I want to let you know I am not political because realistically politicians don't give a shit about anybody these days. Not even the Democrats. And I know because I'm a Democrat. But if he's on my ballot next November, I'm voting for him. I'm not, I'm not political. Uh, he's not a politician. So, yeah, that's why I'm speaking out now. Oh, I wish him luck. I, I wish him luck so fucking bad. Oh, God. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>